How do we actually talk with one another about wine? Let's get into some red wine vocabulary. Now when I say vocabulary, I really mean how is it that you describe what you like or don't like about wine? And to really talk about that, we really got to get into those foundational traits or characteristic of what's actually in this glass. And we can kind of break that up into six different categories. Sweetness, fruit quality, acidity, tannin, alcohol, and body. Is it sweet or is it dry? Now wine has a huge range of sweetness level. It can be bone dry, dry, off dry, medium sweet, or very sweet dessert wines. But the truth is, most red wines, and certainly in the fine wine market, are in the dry side. Still, if you want to learn how to taste sweetness in wine, here's what you can try. Buy a dry red wine. Taste that dry red wine. Get a half spoon of sugar and add it to your glass. Swirl it around and then taste it. You might be surprised when you find that adding sweetness to your glass doesn't actually add too much sweetness to the wine, but does change the fruit quality. Is it fruity versus earthy? I really like to think of fruit quality in terms of ripeness. Super ripe, fruity, sweet grapes tend to make wines that smell and taste fruity. Marginally ripe grapes tend to produce wines with more unripe, herbaceous, earthy, or savory flavors. There is one thing that does affect that ripeness quality in your glass, and that's acidity. Now, if you wanna try tasting acidity, take an unmolested glass of wine and a slice of lemon. Take a big old bite of lemon and then finish with a sip of wine and swish it around on your palate. Now, acidity might make wines taste leaner and meaner, but it's a very important trait for ageability in wine. Let's talk tannin. Now, tannin in wine is bitterness and it's astringency, and a lot of people tell me, ooh, I don't like high tannin wines. But, but the truth is, tannin is a polyphenol, which is an antioxidant, and it's probably the only thing in red wine that's actually really good for you. So, to practice tasting tannin, take a wet black tea bag, put it in your mouth, and taste it. You will taste two things, two qualities. You will taste astringency, sort of a grippy sensation, and bitterness. Let's talk alcohol levels. Now, most red wines will range between about 12 and 15% alcohol by volume. Now that range actually greatly affects how we sense the wine on the palate and how intense it tastes. Now one way you can taste alcohol in wine, take a neutral spirit and add about a teaspoon to your glass. Swirl it around and give it a taste. What's interesting is we really taste alcohol level at the back of our throat as heat or burn. And that texture that alcohol brings to wine actually adds a lot of body. That brings us to our last trait, full-bodied versus light-bodied red wines. Now I have to admit to you that body is a little bit of a fuzzy trait. It's more of a culmination of all the other things going on inside the glass. For example, light-bodied red wines tend to have higher acidity, lower alcohol level, and maybe a little lower tannin. Fuller body red wines tend to have more tannin, more alcohol, and maybe a little less acidity. So, the next time you taste wine, try to run through these six foundational traits in the wine you're tasting. This will help build your wine tasting repertoire and you'll be able to better talk about and describe what you like and don't like about a wine. If you like this video, definitely throw us a like. And if you wanna learn more about wine, we actually offer a free wine 101 guide which you can download if you join the newsletter. I'll post a link to it 
right below in the comments. Until next time, cheers to you, peace out.